With what is happening between Russia and Ukraine currently, it has brought an array of questions and a variety of topics. One of those being geopolitics, or more specifically geopolitical risks, and how it can affect investments from stocks through to cryptocurrencies. So today we will be looking at what geopolitical risks are and how they impact fintech and the financial environment. Firstly, let's look at what geopolitics are. Simply, it is the study of the effect of geography being human and physical on international politics and international relations. Geopolitical risk is different to political risk, although a lot of the time many people mistakenly use both terms interchangeably. Political risk defines the risks and dynamics within the borders of a nation, whereas geopolitical risks describe the dynamics between nations. It is worthy to note that political tensions that are initially confined within nations' borders and not aimed at affecting the normal course of international relations could potentially escalate and create geopolitical instability. Geopolitics is a term that encompasses multiple definitions and historically has been used to describe the practice of states to control and compete for territory. However, in recent decades, power struggles and other events involving a diverse set of agents including corporations, non-governmental organizations, rebel groups and political parties have also been classified as a part of geopolitics. For this reason, the current usage of the word geopolitics covers a diverse set of events with a wide range of causes and consequences, from war to climate change and through to global financial crises. Thus, geopolitical risk can be defined more clearly as the risk associated with wars, terrorist acts, and tensions between states that affect the normal and peaceful course of international relations. Geopolitical risk captures both the risk that these events materialize and the new risks associated with an escalation of existing events. Geopolitics is a phenomenon that is increasingly impacting the global fintech and financial services ecosystem. This is giving rise to a series of interconnected risks that are both new and difficult to mitigate, especially with the existing risk management frameworks. Its impact on fintech is dependent on many factors that include the characteristics of the fintech, like its customer base, whether it be business to business or business to consumer, the sector it serves and services it provides, the size of its users, where it is based, and the nations it operates in, as well as the service supply chain it is connected to, meaning a geopolitical risk can arise not only directly related to the fintech itself, but also impact the fintech's customer and also its customer's customer. Unpredictable market events are a major operational risk, precisely because they are unpredictable in nature. The overreaction that follows a sudden market event can lead to serious liquidity and solvency problems for fintechs, as well as financial institutions. Procylicality, contagion, excess volatility, and many other risk factors can also emerge in the market, causing disruptions of fintech services. Cross-border transactions become a risk as the provision of remote services relies on processes such as identification to be operated in other countries. In each of these cases, operations and customer support teams are forced to think on their feet and develop rapid ad hoc responses. Contingency planning usually fails to produce the appropriate response. As usual in fintech, fast and appropriate customer communication must be at the forefront. Heightened geopolitical risk may increase financial market volatility and induce delays in investment decisions, and as a result may have a negative impact on macroeconomic outcomes. For example, volatility in the US government bond market, the bedrock of the global financial system, is running at its highest level since the market ructions early in the coronavirus crisis two years ago. And as traders continuously look through headlines on the Russia-Ukraine situation and try to interpret the US Federal Reserve's next moves to rein in inflation, at the same time, the equities markets have become more jittery, with the cost of buying protection against near-term swings on Wall Street rising higher. However, analysts noted that the US stock sell-offs triggered by geopolitical events tended to be short-lived, with a duration of around three weeks to reach a bottom and another three weeks to recover from their prior levels. Geopolitics have a history of rattling markets and stocks and financial systems are likely to be on edge whilst it is happening and for a few weeks after. Luckily, historically, 12 months after such an event, the market edges higher 
A non-linear thinking of geopolitical risk is what is needed in order for a fintech to see the full scope of risk and opportunity it faces and to be able to utilize this to their benefit. So how do you think geopolitical rattling affects the financial market? Let us know in the comments below. If you found value in this video, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button as not to miss out on more.